Hi guys, Luna here and welcome back to another news info and update video for Destiny 2. Now we know thanks to this happening to several people lately that engram drops in Destiny 2 are possible, where you make your way through the inverted spire strike and at the end, that big tough guy Protheon the modular mind will have a chance to drop some blue engrams. Now it's incredibly rare and has only happened to several people. One of the first that this happened to, where it was recorded anyway, was the Twitter user JGX Brown, and you can see in this video clip he is at the end of the strike fighting the boss and once he dies a blue engram drops out of him. In the next clip you can see what the engram has dropped, a piece of class armor which is a bond for a warlock called Fatum Prevaricator or something along those lines, I can't really say it. It has a level of 203 so already higher than anything available to you in the beta game. And the inscription reads, Great Galactic Journey to Earth, Find Their Destiny, which is disintegrated by Nova Bomb, whatever that means. Also one other feature you will notice is that the player here has as Glimmer, which is also received from the Engram. There are other cases of this happening as well, like this other Twitter user who received a helmet from an engram drop. But today an even more interesting engram drop happened. Thanks to unknown player who received this info from one of his Twitter followers, we got to see another previously unseen weapon. The rare Refrain 23 auto rifle, very similar to the first video we looked at, you see Protheon being defeated and then a rare engram drops. And you might think to yourself, how do you decrypt it without the crypt arch? Well, it actually does it automatically for you as soon as you pick it up and you can also see for the first time in this clip a player receiving glimmer from one of those engram drops. Head over to the weapon and you can take a look at its stats. Its intrinsic perk is adaptive, makes the gun well rounded, reliable and sturdy. You get a choice of two sights to choose from SLO 12 post, it has a short zoom and greatly increases handling speeds so aiming, raising and lowering your gun, basically making tracking targets easier. Or you could choose the SPO 57 front, medium zoom and increase range but decreases handling handling, so you get to choose between handling or range. You get ricochet rounds which increases stability and also slightly boost the weapon's range as well. Finally the weapon's trait is called Rampage, of course which can be found on the main ingredient fusion rifle and the Nurgle pulse rifle and is basically the crowd control perk from Destiny 1. Overall it can damage boost by 3 which takes you to about 30-35% for a short time, so it's a pretty decent weapon for a rare one anyway. The weapon also has the Void Damage Elemental mod which gives it a little something extra. So very cool to see some rare engram drops from the inverted spire strike, very rare to see and PS4 users as far as we have seen, this little bug appears to only be working on Xbox One. So sorry guys, it only seems to be for those Xbox users, but if it does happen to you on either console and you find any blue engram drops or any kind of drop while doing the inverted spire, let me know on Twitter, it's linked in the description below. I would love to see some more previously unseen drops before the beta ends. Also you can tweet to me about any other cool stuff from the beta if you come across it in Destiny 2. Next I wanted to recap all the information from the farm yesterday. I did spend a few hours exploring it because if you didn't return to orbit you could wander around for as long as you wanted to. Spent almost an hour trying to climb the cliffs at the back as well to see if I could escape. Couldn't figure out a way to get up though. Also yesterday's news video I made after playing the game for like 13 hours so I was very tired and I kind of feel like I didn't go over it in as much detail as I probably wanted to. So as you already know there were no NPCs traversing the farm in yesterday's social space adventure. Of course, Bungie says it wasn't a test to look at the farm for the players, it was more of a test for them to see what the servers were going to behave like when everyone tried to go in there. By exploring the farm we did find some stuff. First thing I thought I should mention is just how amazing the scenery is from this place. An ocean or large river on one side and some kind of settlement is off in the distance. On the other side you have the shard remains of the Traveller with what seems like some kind of military camp in its shadow, so very cool. The farm itself was awesome as well and some things to note like that orbit seems to be present on Earth and Destiny 2. There are also areas indicating things like Eververse returning, there's a tent with their logo on it, a vault, Cryptarch and Quartermaster stands all over the place. Pretty much all the locations on the farm can be explored. You can walk along buildings, wires, you could climb up the buildings, go under them, even a glitch that lets you inside this room behind the Cryptarch. Several interactions can be found as well, footprints left in the mud, lanterns that can be turned on and off, as well as of course football that has sparklers when you score and flares when you win a game. Also these landing platforms are most likely going to have ships coming and going like the tower had in Destiny 1. There's also plenty of things lying around that might have hitting meanings like this cross on the ground which was found by one reddit user that only appears to show for a short time at night. A hidden cellar or basement which many people found. The farmhouse itself also isn't fully explorable so 
maybe that will open up. Would be strange to have half of a house closed when everything else in the farm is fully explorable. So maybe there will be like some kind of important people in there and you can just get missions inside. Maybe there has to be a cutscene or something before that opens. I was hoping maybe there would be a place for the farm to expand into as well, but it seems as though it's just going to be the size it is now, but with more NPCs over time. So a bit disappointed with that, but overall, I actually really enjoyed exploring the farm. Anyway, that's about it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, a like and comment is appreciated. Also, subscribe to see similar Destiny 2 content on my channel. But with that being said, Guardians, stay awesome, and I will see you all next time.